For this problem, we're going to solve the following system of equations. We're going to use the process of elimination. So first, we're going to add x to the first equation so that we have 2y equals 3 plus x. Now we're going to add the two equations together so that we have y squared plus 2y equals 4y plus 3. To solve for y, we want to get the right side equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 4y and 3 from both sides so that we have y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0. Now we can factor the left side to be y minus 3 times y plus 1, which is equal to 0. So now we can see that y is equal to 3 or negative 1. Now we're going to plug the y values into one of the equations to solve for x. For y equals 3, we get x equals 3. And for y equals negative 1, we get x equals negative 5. Now that we have our x and y values, we can see that the intersecting points are at 3, 3, and negative 5, negative 1. And this is the solution to the problem. We can also graph the two equations and the solution. The standard form for the first equation is x equals negative y minus 2 squared plus 4. Using our knowledge of transformations, we can make a graph that looks like this. The standard form of the second equation is y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves. The slope of this line is 1 half and the y-intercept is 3 halves. So using this, we can graph a line that looks like this. Now we can see the two solution points at 3, 3 and negative 5, negative 1. And this completes the problem.